Hello guys, this is Ani. I hope you're having an amazing week, you're having a healthy, you're having a fresh and you're watching movie review. I'm your host Kaniki and this show is sponsored by News on Plug KE. Stay tuned. Happy new month guys ni Feb the month of love uko na valentines uko na come to are you single are you dating unangoja kupewa gift valentines day ama when it come me like you know we'll, we'll still survive we'll still move on and everything well with that uh, on the last episode nilonge kuhusu nollywood nikonge kuhusu kenyan movies animation nikonge kuhusu sci-fi fantasy all of that type of movies on this episode nitakuwa naongelea kuhusu elvis moonlight you people uh, minions Darby and the dead umbrella academy and you again uh, and with that nitaanza nita dive into elvis so elvis was uh, released in 2022 and it was directed by like what happened uko kitambo uh, the actors when you're not aftango like the the look alike some with their accents i just loved everything with this movie and nilipa na two guys i just loved it so it starts with elvis presley akiwa like a teenager so i think he ilikuwa like ingia kwa damu yake so no like jeezy so no jeezy when you're like pretty sure he was like reincarnated to a white person this is a king of pop king of rock and role but then like his songs is because na intimidate what is going on for his wife and everything which is not okay and me guys i just loved this movie i really loved it and i i recommend a 7 out of 10 like on netflix you guys should go and watch it and it is just an amazing movie Moving on to the next movie it was Moonlight. Moonlight is like a Marvel uh masterpiece. It's an interview because mini mse wa Marvel. So obviously when you anything concerning Marvel, I'm there. I just love it. It was released in 2022 and it was directed by Jeremy Slater. So this movie starts with the main character and it was Max Spector and also let's say that two people. So Max Spector and also kuna Steve Grant. So Steve Grant and Max Spector is the same person obviously, but then they like it's two people in the same body. Akuna this uh, like mental illness ya personality disorders and everything so napenda venye the show ili talk about mental like disorders but in a, like a cool way nilipenda venye alikuwa try to tell people ama like to educate people about this type of uh, disorder and everything so i loved that na inanza max specter okay so a movie lenza like i pay any like in episodes it's a series i pay like in episodes when in indonesia ilikuwa lenza from like the future which is the like present and it go to the past trying to explain to you when you kuna endelea so i love that about it na pena when between mark specter and seven grant na pata seven grant in that like ka introvert i'm a chill ana story mingi it's like the like the nisemaje ni wale to like how nang apa tangi madem like they don't get girls so like max spector is the, like a hot guy he's a mercenary and a jock fight and everything so he has a like beautiful wife save grant on the other side is trying to go on a date but then ana shina kitokwa and ana fanya kazi kwa kwa museum so like you get yo nini ni kama ka extrovert na introvert but in the same person so i love that about it nilipenda their acting nilipenda to everything ni a marvel so obviously no jola zame yake like to jokes upon dani kwa like amazing human sarcasm so i loved that i love that when you max specter nini ali get uh, ali ali and like fanya ku serve konshu who's like an egyptian god then steven grant ako kwa kufanya job yake so like they like met up and started talking about this and this na panezo transitions from max specter to steven grant and everything i just loved that also nilipenda vinye liko na ngela kusu the egyptian gods nilipenda the soundtrack in this series really bamba too although i didn't even understand what the song is about but i just really loved it i love vinye liko na ngela kusu like egyptian gods and everything na panezo vinye max specter trained so hard to like be be different but they're the same person but when i said they're in each way because ile time when they lost the the brother like a cure dog so na pata like he was traumatized because the mama alikuwa na accuse when you were like your brother when you were fanya hivi na hivi so i just i can develop that type of 
disorder dualiona like this is the only person when you know protect from the outside world so it's two people max specter who like experience the whole world then seven grant when you it's just this kind person who thinks his mother is still alive but she's not but max specter and olifanya like I, f- I feel like the mother is still alive which she's not so i just love that i love when you look on a shinoki fight as if they're like they're two different people but they're the same person but you got to open your connection between them you're gonna open up when you like the, this this episode will go like into his mind which was like an Salem, so I love this guy hippopotamus I just love Marvel I love CGI, I visuals I his costume, I like fight he's just, just an amazing deal, he's, he's an amazing person I gave it a 9 out of 10 I really really loved it, I love it Disney Plus So moving on to the next movie to Konongela Kusu in Itwa, You Again. You Again is a Kenyan movie and it was released in 2019 and it was directed by Nani, and it was Nani, Nick Mtuma. Nick Mtuma is a deal, he's hot. I think Mnojo ni Nani and apart from him being sexy and hot, he's an amazing director, he's a model, he's just he's just a cred- incredible person. So a movie and Zena Nick Mutuma who's like Kingsley in this movie but he's the main character. Kingsley like on a girlfriend yake wako in university. So when you like you love your university and everything. Again I repeat mko na Valentine's ama mko tu hivyo but anyway university like they are funny in love wako this car an amazing couple like couple goals. So she on to a really on a date to go like damn. Wa niangalie na because they all look amazing. So nilipenda hiyo movie like the casting nilipenda cameo ya uh, Taylor Mbaya who's like the the boyfriend to Georgina I think mnamjua. So nilipenda hiyo nilipenda the act- actors and the actresses in this. Nilipenda vile nilikuwa naonyesha the realness in like finding a job because Kingsley alikuwa na degree but then akanaka na baba yake because apathy job. Na si because he's lazy and he's not looking for one. It's when you like the system is flawed. So he's going to this place this place and to my CV pale hapa na pale but apart from jobs so nilipa na the realness of this movie nilipa na vanye ilionyesha the difference in the age gap ah not age gap the pay gap between the women and the men nilipa na pay ilionyesha hiyo nilipa na vanye ilionyesha how women like go through this creepy people in the office like women oh, kutafuta kutafuta kazi hapo about this other person tries to do this for you so that you feel, he feels entitled to yourself to your whole body to you as a human cuz he thinks like as a man kuna fa kufanya like this type of job ama as a woman if fanya this type of job so nilipenda they showed that in this movie nilipenda vanyo na wanaongea kuhusu nini like music the music of this whole film ilikuwa kenyan obviously so i loved it nilipenda best friend ya kingsley alikuwa wala mabishi wenye like hata kama like umelewa aje they'll still wake up to drink like do you do you guys have friends kama cuz miss jona kitu kai hiyo okay i have but who ni bamba to that, that that those type of friends they give you life like they'll call you at any time call hey uko happy bro uko happy ni 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 tuna tukunywa everything so i loved the the character of this best friend of his na ni wale wa machocha but then they'll always be there they'll always have your back but then chocha nazo and always drinking and always having fun but i love that nilipenda hiyo character in that no also nilipenda this character when alikuwa like the receptionist ama like secretary when alikuwa kwa job yenye kings lali pata nilipenda pia hiyo nilipenda the the sofia who's like the sister of vanessa md i think you know her she's an amuse- she's a musician she's the, like both sisters and musicians but uh the sister sofia nito mimi maz is an actress so i just love that lipenda when your best friend yake alikuwa real like i'm sure if you going through this and this just continue with this like if you ever need help nilonisha nilipenda to like the the connection the between the women the the love they have for each other i just loved the whole film it was just an amazing film nilipenda when like when you know when your parents are tshikangi umekatu viki dogo eh unapumua vibaya sijui and and utafuta job huko na huko i just loved that i loved everything me nilipenda to film guys you should go and watch it iko youtube like mnaza stream to youtube uh, for free so any two youtube when we watch it our bamba sana and i give it a 7 out of 10 So with that we'll go on a short commercial break we'll be right back So a 
Italian kwan mongala kuso Elvis Presley the movie uh, Moonlight and you again so I'm going to dive into Minions Rise of Gru it is an animation animation it was released in 2022 and it was directed by Kyle Balda Nefario alikuwa like young in this whole film because of course Gru ni kadogo so Dr Nefario pia ni kadogo and I just loved me nilipenda this whole thing nilipenda comedy yake nilipenda like the music I just loved like the slow motion like uh, fight scenes and everything it was just amazing and also uh, one of the like chinese actors kwa hiyo anaitwa Michelle Yeoh mwenye alikuwa ame act kwa everything everywhere all at once i had reviewed this one napenda tu hiyo and napenda the main character mwenye ni grow alikuwa kwa mwenye ni Steve Carell so i just love this whole movie and guys you should watch it iko netflix and i give it an 8 out of 10 So on the next movie I'll be doing it was Dabi and the Dead. Dabi and the Dead was released in 2022 and it was directed by Silas Howard. So this movie starts with the main character in it was Dabi and also this character alikuwa like famously known for for Henry Henry Danger. I think mnakumbuka Nickelodeon watu walikuwa nao chingi movies wakiwa watoto wakika kwa nyumba, mini one of them. So Henry alikuwa kwa Henry Danger so nilipenda the fact that alikuwa one of the, uh, in this film so I love that. Nilipenda pia venye dubi venye ilianzia walifanya main character kwa black. Unajua leo unapatanga this high school Zaki Tambo mostly this high school movies zilikuwa na main characters zilikuwa like a white person so I love that walieka black person in this. I love that first. And this movie ilikuwa inaanza with dubi alikuwa uh, Uh, na mama yake like wa kisume and everything then uh, they got into an accident then then the mother like passed away so i loved when you like like so those movies na zanga tuna traumatic events ndio like wa capture the audience so of course you'll capture cuz ngoda kujua what happened to the child what did she become in future did she like go follow her mother's footsteps and everything so i loved that then the more she grew up ndio akakuwa like distance cuz of course losing a parent is rough it's bad it's like kuna hiyo grief and you will get so i loved that i loved that when ye dabi alikuwa ameenda shule cuz alikuwa most of the time alikuwa homeschooled ali try to interact na people ndo alikuwa like kale kale ka introvert akataka ni story mingi ka lone wolf so nilipenda yeye nilipenda the when alikuwa anaongea then she looks straight to the camera like the audience i just love that nilipenda when alikuwa only fanya kwa na love interest so also love that and also nilipenda when like hii movie ilikuwa tu kusu nisema je ali dabi alipata like powers za kuona ghost so nilikuwa napenda when alikuwa anaongea na ona communicate with the ghost and everything and enda kwa fanya vitu zinyo alikuwa anataka kufanya ukiwa like alive but now they're not so i love that guys and also although i loved everything about this whole movie nili feel nilikuwa na nipe like i kwa na plot and nilikuwa na nilikuwa na expect like nilikuwa na nilikuwa tunajua this is going to happen nilikuwa na suspense although nilikuwa na pay like 2010 vibes but i kwa na suspense and nilikuwa napenda but uh, overall nilipenda but mm, not really but, so i give it a 5 out of 10 you guys should go and watch it Um tenambia kwa comments kai liwabamba ama if not ama anything will notice and maybe me will notice cuz mimi ilikuwa different for, like it's different for everyone so you guys should go and watch it then niambe venye iko So on the next movie I'll be doing Inaitwa Umbrella Academy I think Meskia uh it got three seasons it was like ongoing still kuna another like season 4 and it's a which I'm eagerly waiting for and it was released in 2019 and it was directed by this guy Gerald Way. So this movie starts with uh Sun Umbrella Academy. So obviously I'm not joining kuhusu shule and everything. So in answer with this like 40 48 kids were like all of all of them like they were born the same day but then prior to that like the mothers were not even pregnant. So I'm imagine like it was like a miraculous kind of thing. So nilipenda the movie lianza na hiyo. Nilipenda venye like this lady alikuwa kwa swimming pool then aka kiss the guy on the cheek then poop that's it she was prego. Like when you imagine if it going to happen even in real life. I don't think it will be that good for everyone that is like the population is like so high. But nilipa na venye movie lianza na hiyo nilipa na venye it was in the like kitambo so kuna hiyo vibe ya like the music the outfits zenye watu wanavaa ni nini and this certain guy who and it was a hagrid ndio akadop like seven kids from all the 48 kids zenye alikuwa hapo akadop those seven kids. So out of those seven kids kulikuwa na number 5 kulikuwa na mnyenye anaitwa Victor 
kulikuwa na this uh, anaitwa Diego kulikuwa na Klaus kulikuwa na Alison like kulikuwa all these seven kids they had their different special powers in them kulikuwa na mmoja wao alikuwa five mwenye anaitwa five mwenye alikuwa ana go in, back into time alikuwa na control space and time and whatever time travel kulikuwa na Victor mwenye alikuwa na ana like ana use sound to like distract to be distractive kuna huyo kulikuwa na Alison mwenye anaweza control people's mind using the uh, rumor has it I'm like I had a rumor that said nini nini then anafanya fanya that kind of thing kuna Diego he's good with knives and everything I mean lipa new movie like each character lipa different types of like powers which was so interesting ilipa na vinya season season 1 ilikuwa na ongela kuhusu the childhood when you likuwa me train you kwa like uh, the heroes were fighting crime and everything ilipa na pia like yes they were kidogo but walikuwa well, childhood trauma because you know they didn't even have a dad or a mom because like the mothers after they got uh, the child or kwa peana because obviously uko me plan hiyo mtoi so kuna hiyo then like the dad sagres me likuwa like their dad like akwa he wasn't interested in kids like i think i'll go on our raise ndio crime fighting like kids ama babies ama like heroes in the future and everything lipo na vinyali aka pogo pogo is like a uh, i won't say it's a monkey but uh, like alikuwa like ana funza ku fight and everything kuna this mother alikuwa like a robot mwenye ana chunga and everything kama hiyo so season 1 naongea kuhusu like the childhood when like the dad was killed so they're trying to investigate what happened when the after lives when yamekuwa kubwa what happened because of course they dist past like learn to handle yake so season 1 naongea kuhusu hiyo then season two, they come back and try to like five comes back to time he tries to stop victor from like causing an apocalypse so kuna hiyo napenda venye they're trying to run away from this bad people they are straight kwa and everything napenda venye alikuwa connected as a family because they came back to try to solve the dad's uh, like death and everything napenda venye love life zao walikuwa like lamtu alikuwa like a little love life ndio aone venye kunaendelea like to one like if this this person got married if we lanza ku date if uyu ni nini we just love this and i love how five are gonna suck as him and humor he's like that's that ka sibling when you all at all in an argument he's smart he's everything i just love that about him and and up and avenue alikuwa his love interest alikuwa like a dolly flani kana to doris ah uh, not even dolly kamanikin so nilipenda pio like hiyo nilipenda the music about this about this whole like feel mimi nilipenda guys mimi na ipe a 9 out of 10 iko netflix you guys should go and watch it mniambie ni which character ali wabamba mniambie venye like maybe kuna something kuna sneak peeks mliona or anything just guys go tell me comments like msikosa kuniambia comments venye kuliendelea So on the last movie I'm going to be reviewing in it were you people it was released in 2023 and it was directed by Kanye Barris mwenye ame produce ama ame direct cultures and races and everything lipana venye walionisha venye una trying so hard to make your in-laws wakupenda because you want to like marry that person but then una pata in-laws are not even interested in you and everything ama like they talk about it they work it out then they become like one whole family like nilipana venye ulikuwa unanisha like white people wengine wanakuwa so ignorant in knowing like what the black people are going through and everything kama hiyo so nilipona like the realness in this whole movie then the fashion like nilipona tu venye walikuwa na vaa the hair the stylist in this like whole movie alifanya an amazing job so i loved it guys you guys should go and watch it it was just it was just amazing niko kwa online streaming websites mnaweza watch kwa ff movies my flixa guys and we watch them and make comments when you click and like i said i loved it and i highly recommend it naipe a 7 out of 10 Don't forget to follow, like, share, comment in all our social media platforms and news on Black AE. Bye.